as they lock it in for a first pick. This is just such a... So it's a good starting point for Jersh's band. He just goes for that Bologna on both throughout the entirety of this game. They're still available that they can lock in that category. Nope. Daji is what he... After that first game, wants to go back and cover. And Lancelot locked... A, a ton does just speak to the difficulty that Johnny's got ahead of him. Now we can see Jake playing aggressive. Kirmi is rotated in. It's going to get spotted out. The shield dealt with. The horse gone. Now Spudio is actually Big in a good miss. spot because Jake does not get the, t the pluck. And now, in fact, the taunt pulls him in. Damage is there, but you've already used the snipe. So now it's going to be Johnny going in. Doesn't have the chase down that he thinks, but with the ult down, Ooh. oh no, the chain just off the mark, but you've got backup, you've got Cossack, and everybody over here, one more shot from the Taiko drums gets one, but now Jengaru comes in, home sweet home, one for one trade in the duo lane and trying to make it a little further, you need some damage and you found it, Spudio taken down, double kill for the mid laner on the glad wait with a Sobek icon next to it, something about it just, just rings true. But now you're seeing where some of that pressure can really expend, and that is the Gladiators. That lead as much as you possibly can hold on to it, or as long as you can possibly hold on to it. Julio. And Johnny gonna contest cooldown, and maybe contest Kana here. They go for the damage. You've got the Athena. There's the Classic. taunt. There's the damage. Exactly what you were calling for, and exactly Squish how they build. needed it. Stone Agaya, great in the 1v1. Phenomenal for boxing. Got three people on you, you're just not tanky. Well, right now, speaking of people on it's you, meditation. Me. That's online. Jake playing aggressive, going for a purple buff. Steel taunted in by Kha'Zix. Damage from Johnny is there. But now you've got Kirmi, you've got Jengaru, and now you've gone forward. You might be in a little trouble up under the Pow Lao, looking for some chains and maybe a space to try and get away. But Johnny does not have many options. Makes it over the wall with the blink. Oh no my way. god! And he's running out of there alive. I can't Gifted. believe it. He Another bit of life there. He was in a really bad spot, getting a bit over aggressive. Speaking of aggressive, it's Buddy O. In trouble, forced under the tower. There's a defensive defender of Olympus. That's good. We'll start the early game. Getting two or three off in a team fight as opposed to one is significant. Taunt used on Kana. You have enough damage to knock him down to half. Rapio, Jengaru, Spudio, all of them going to be over here making their rotations to the duo lane. Snoopy and the 1v1, now 2v1. Spudio has got to play carefully, has to make it up to the sky, can't quite get there. Good shot from Snoopy, but it's one for one. The carries are all done. Johnny trying to get the job done, open up what he can, needs one more hit on the Kirmi, is able to find it. Pal out, doesn't even need the pull, falls back, stays safe, stays alive, Johnny. and gets out of there one more time, two for one trade, and Hex Mambo come out on top. Kha'Zix still has the ultimate, has it charge now, going for Rapio. Jake goes for the pull in, but gets dunked on in exchange. Jangaru, not enough damage to scare the kill. Rapio, sub 100 HP. That opportunity to get involved in that beacon fight. Instead, hovers the jungle as Kha'Zix. Tossed in once more and dropped real low. Just avoids the body block. Slow was good, and they keep him locked down. A lot of ults get used to chase him, though. Three down on the side of the Gladiators. Rapio even able to turn some damage around. Johnny looking for Jengaru in the back. Gets a lot of damage out there and is now looking for just the Pao Lao shots. Lands, needs the slashes, finds it. But this time around, he's going to get taken down. Kill for the Gladiators makes it two for one. Yeah, Hex Mambo not exactly matching the grouping from the good of Gladiators here who have been stacked as five for a good long while, Spadio. Eyes for Snoopy and he's hitting hard. Yeah, Snoop, oh my Snoop God. run! They're the same level. He was doing the same damage that he was when Spuddy was up by three last time. Johnny pulls for the green buff. Kirmi walks in and takes it. Kha'Zix is rotated around. Taunt on the Kirmi. Forces the beats. That's going to be massive. You have to imagine uh -oh. the control Jake in a bad spot. Forced to use his ult just to disengage Kha'Zix, though. What is he waiting on? He's waiting for this lizard to pop out. Taunt good damage there. And they take down the support. Now, Rapio in trouble. Killed off Kirmi. Making sure to go massive on the joust fields. Damage spread all the way around. And Spudio finds the last hit necessary, but takes a lot of hits in the process. Johnny makes sure they have to split their attention. Fury dropped low. Only one nearby to defend is Julio. I'm not sure if he's going to get there in time. I'm gonna try, like you said, a little slow. Nearby Julio as well as Rapio stepping up. Pyro's getting low, goes over to the Gladiators. They're looking for something else. They're gonna go for kills. They're gonna take care of Kana. They're looking for Kirmi. If they can wrap him up, this could be an early fire giant. They've already got rid of two, and they're looking for a third. Jake, no ult, nothing to keep him safe except for that blink. Creates the red buff. Johnny even going for a speed buff and it takes it while Jake is watching him. Pluck will be good. This might end up actually causing more trouble for the Gladiators. 
You might also see that Hex Mambo has overstayed their welcome. Kirmi Kana going to spawn back in two. Now, you got to fall back. This is one of the best looks we've had at them at the 16 minute mark. Kirmi taunted, beats, used. Chasing down Rapio, misses a lot of the damage, and now Rapio's got backup. Palau comes out, and back. guess who doesn't have beads? You're pulled in, you're killed off. Double the kills <laughs> now for Hex. The neutral objectives, the Fury, the Pyromancer, they went to the Gladiators. Now, take that hey, it's hard. in mind, keep that in mind, as right now, not only are they trying to fight back, actually finding a kill on this buddy, I was going to mention the 1,000 gold lead for Hex Mambo. That is a massive kill. Kirmi and Snoopy combining to find that one. Now, the fight of the beacon, maybe going a little awry with, <laughs> without your carry. You've got to play this carefully. Jake goes in. Jake gets a pluck onto Johnny, helps put him down, and now the chase is on. The kills are there. Kha'Zix. Dash, good enough to separate Close. things. Julio's on the other side of the planet. You don't have to worry too much about it. Hear me. Yeah, he's going to go for the chase. Julio, surely he hears this. And that just means who's going to step up. You had mentioned it's Buddy of Alt available. Snipes actually might be the best secure on the map. Khan is going to go for the zone, but he is getting shredded. Oh my god, the it's damage. Low. If he gets taunted in now, Snipes coming out. Gladiators get themselves the FG. Everybody's incredibly low, and Julio is going to play Janitor, looking for the cleanup crew, and he's already got two put down in the ground. A third about to follow. Spudio, Rapio put themselves together to take care of Kana. It's Jangaru and Jake left Julio. alive and going to leap up. Look for the knockup. Taunt going to come Found in. Them. Connect. Now you've got him. You've got Johnny coming over in. towards the left-hand side. If Julio gets knocked down, go to Gladiator's significant grouping might get them the Gold Fury. They're doing their best. This Still Nike ult. not making it easy. There's going to be the ult, the slow. You might need a little bit more than that. Joust Fields come out. There's the kill, and it's right on top of the Fury. So Gladiator started up immediately. Beacon unable to be captured there by Hex Mamba. And it's been standing for a few minutes. This is still beacon number two. Glad continue their siege now on left. Hear me. Beats forced immediately by the taunt. Kana's taking damage, and they, the Hex Mambo, that is, do not seem to care that they're supposed to be the team that's down right now, that they're supposed to be the team that's defending. No, they're going to play aggressive. It's Kana who gets pulled in. Kana who's getting absolutely shredded. Johnny trying to lead the way. Tycho drums, barrels are there, and the kill on the Kana finally rolls through. Now the opening, the slow. Julio with the ult back up spreads that all around, and they are chasing down wow. into the Tier 2. No regard for their own lives because they're going to find even more in kills. Rapio has lost his, but it is Three already gone on the Gladiators. A fourth with Jake disappearing. Johnny barely manages to survive one more time, but Kirby. A little bit of leeway. Kha'Zix goes in for the dash. They've got wow. the burn on the Kana. Wow. Wow. They chase this down. Let's listen in. Can we go on that? Can you Can you Mikos? Yeah, yeah. I'm holding Huli. I'm hitting Sobek. Sobek one. Sobek one. Sobek one. Sobek's one HP. Sobek's oh, there's no beats. Oh, there's no beats. I'm kind of low here. I'm kind of low here. one HP. Go, just go Pyro. Yeah, heal up. Pyro and reset, I think. Maybe reset so back 1 HP, they get rid of Kana. Kirmi, maybe going in a little too late. Low health bars on Hex Mamba. They have to play cautiously and carefully. Kha'Zix, alt used. So if he backs, it's going to be the old... One line path. of play available to them that the Gilded Gliders can't match, and it's their ability to kill the front line. Pyromancer knocked down. Kirmi, it's not a 1v1. Yeah, Kirmi... In trouble. Shielding helps out a ton. All Johnny has some ping's coming out. And if Johnny can get in here, or if you get a good taunt like that, you pull someone in. Kana just absolutely decimated. Slowed down Julio. Going for a little more. Gets the smack down. Laid down. Puts Kana in the ground now. Chasing off Snoopy on the right. And zoning for a lot. It's a split fight for Hex Mambo. Got they got him. everything they need. The two side lanes just taken out. Hex Bombo, just rinse, repeat. Let me find Kana. I'll hit him with the taunt. Yo, Rapio, you got your 2-1 up. I don't even need your ultimate. And that's 50% of his HP each time. Kana is not tanky enough to create space for the Gilded Gladiators. And Hex Bombo can deal with either of the frontliners. Even Jake now, I think, squishy enough that if both Rapio and Spuddy are hitting him, I mean, they just knock him down. Jake, just trying to do whatever he can. Unable to do any of it. Now, hear me, Johnny, 1v1. It's not going to be a 1v1 for long. Johnny is just holding you here up onto the Palau. Shots are good. Spudio gets the kill, and that is... Gold lead. The kill leads have been in their favor, and they're going to keep it rolling forward. Jake is the next target. Jangaru as well on the chopping block. Looks like they'll fall back, but it is not slowing him down. Johnny has to get out of there because his health bar is too low. Phoenix finally taken down. Hex Mambo. Everyone sans Julio. 
decides to run down mid. They're setting up a small. Lock on Julio, and I think he just walks out or, or serves up the Guild of Gladiators. Well, best news for the Gladiators. The Titans are about to start marching, Tapping and they're going to be on right. Oh my god, Kana's just deleted. Kirby going to be taken down. He barely makes it back to the Phoenix line, but it's not going to matter. The chase is forward with the Titan. It started to move, so you're going to have to kill it twice here. Once to reset, and once to get the job done. But you've got the Deicide. You've ended the Gladiators season. And if you are Hex Mambo, you're going to march into the Titan room, and you're going to send yourselves to world. Seven times in a row. It happens to Kana, and he never learns his lesson. Again, walks up to the Phoenix line, taunt dead before the taunt ends. Did he build? Did Compare what they got. That's right. I've got Hex Mambo here, and, and guys, it was a fantastic set, a 3-0 victory. Julio, yesterday you came in. I asked how you were going to prepare for a lot of those sets, and you just said we're just going to play our own game. You do that today, you're going to Worlds. How's it feel? I mean, should have been yesterday, but... Uh, it feels happy to be here and to be at Worlds, but not as happy as it would have been yesterday. But it's good to lose yesterday, so we get like a reality check. And obviously, I'd rather lose here than at Worlds, so it's fine. You get to learn a little bit, right? You're going to take that to the World stage. Congratulations, man. Robbie, you come in, you're a jungler for years and years and years. You, you swap over to mid, and now not only have you had a phenomenal performance, outperforming other mid laners who have been doing it for years, but also get to go to Worlds. How's it feel? It feels really good, you know, as Philly said, I think we needed to lose yesterday, it kind of woke us all up a bit, because we, we don't really scrim, we don't really prepare, we just kind of went on vibes, but <laughs> yeah, it feels really good. Well, maybe the vibes for the next few days are going to be like studying and stuff, I'm sure like Davey, you're dressed up as a coach, we'll get to you later, maybe you're going you're, you're gonna, to like hard in on this. Coming in, silence, you finally get to make it here, you finally get to do too much, Ozix. Man, I'm so bad with names today, I'm sorry, I'm going to give you a hug. I'm so sorry. God, I just spent three games highlighting your name, and you were a big portion of that last game. You're finally going to Worlds, which is what I was trying to get to and why maybe I was messed up on the name. How does it feel? It feels good. Uh, like last year, we, we went there, but we didn't go there very far, so it's good to have another chance and like trying to do better than we did just last year with Raven. So excited, looking good. You think you're going to get Athena again? Is anyone ever going to allow that again? I mean, I didn't think I'd get it ever, you know, even like here. So, and we did. So maybe we get it once again. Who knows? Well, it looked fantastic. You played well. And I'll make sure that I cement your name in my brain because it's going to be coming up a whole lot. Now we get to move forward. Spudio, you play incredibly well. There are moments, actually, in game two, we're talking like highlight level plays. You're going up into the snipes. It feels like game two got, got out of hand. But, like, how does it feel, especially for you to be able to kind of pick this up and finally go to the world stage, play in such a in, in front of such a big crowd? Yeah, I mean, since I've never been before, it's, uh, it's good to make it. Hopefully, we can do well. Oh, just to hopefully you can do well. I believe in you. <laughs> I wanted some more confidence in the backbone. Johnny, man, you have been insane for years. You're going back to play on the world stage, but you have a performance today. Even the dodgy game, you, you stack up the assists instead of the kill count, but how does it feel? I mean, it feels pretty good. Like, I've played so bad this time. Like, even the games you won, I've played so bad, so it feels pretty good. Like, first two games, I'm pretty like, happy with. Third game was like a bit. I could work on, but yeah, it feels good. Yeah, you had a, it was, was going to be a difficult dodgy game for you nonetheless, but you still got the job that you got out of so many fights. It was so ridiculous how many like one hit kills you, you managed to avoid. Yeah, I mean, it's probably like six or seven times I, I literally saw it one, one HP this set, so yeah, at least that fucking. That, that, <laughs> my bad, my bad. Good, my bad, my bad. That, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You that went good for me, so yeah. <laughs> well, hey, man, you get this win. It's 3 0. Uh, and Davey, I come over to you. Now you you know come in uh, for a while competing against a lot of these guys. Uh, now you're you're looking at going to the world championship with them. I have definitely heard that there's been discussion over like drinks and stuff. It's been vibes. So what's uh is it going to be drinks and vibes going into worlds or is it going to be maybe a little more uh, like you know nose to the book? You know these guys had a coach previously you know but I've just took over. You know we're a different team with me you know we're we're a different animal. And that's why we qualified, and that's why we'll win next week at Worlds. So it's, it's good it's good to be there. But obviously, you have to get a couple bevs in. No problem there. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's not a Worlds win if you don't get a couple bevs in in the process, right? Exactly, exactly. That's the confidence that I was looking for. That's what I wanted to see. 3-0 victory for Hex Mambo. All of you are going to Worlds. Congratulations, guys, on the win one more time. We'll go over to the desk, and they can close this out. Highland Ravens and Hex Mambo. One SPL. 
one SCC team to qualify to the Smite World Championships.